everybody, welcome back. Let me get set up today. We have something very special for you here, getting close to the holidays. We have a new magic product called Gift Edition from Throne of the Dream. I've been really excited about this. I really think this is a great upgrade from last year. If you remember, we got the little flimsy boxes that came with a piece of paper. They said it was a poster, a couple packs, and the value was just not there. With this right here, you may not get a whole lot of new value. But you're going to get um, this pretty box. It looks nice. It'll look nice underneath uh, the box itself. It's foil shiny with new art. We get these collector's packs. Now, the collector's pack usually goes for around $25 to $30 online. Um, but the value inside, who knows? So, uh, I don't want to spend much time to tell you what's in the box. Let's show you what's in the box. Let's get some scissors here. Crack this open. I've not done unboxing in a while. Um, I was gonna do some the last go around, and my camera uh, just messed up. I decided that you know what, I don't need to work today. I don't want to do the work today. You know how that work goes. Uh, but anyways, hopefully this turns out good, and uh, we'll have a nice turnout. And this will be online. Uh, this I really wish they could find something else. Uh, I feel like this is a waste uh, because it's not big enough for the cards. It's just big enough to hold dice. Don't steal people. Okay. So inside, uh, we automatically get this. Uh, this little portrait. It's a little thicker than paper, um, which I think is a nice addition. Um, I think they could have picked uh, different cards, and it would have been a lot better. Um, I mean, this right here is kind of fitting. This was the uh, the first spoiler, but I really think if they uh, they put Groot on here, or even uh, the Ginger Brute, I'd have been a lot happier. Actually, I'd have been tickled to death with the Ginger Brute, but I'll probably frame this and throw this on the wall. All right, we'll stick that off to the side. So, uh, inside this little poster thing. They love doing the posters. And be with me, I'm a little droggy, I just woke up. Um, it's a elongated version of the art that's on the box. It's really pretty. I think they missed the mark not making this foil. Uh, I mean, they did this side, and that's that's awesome, and that's pretty, but why, no, why not this side? Um, I guess I didn't want to make a double-sided foil. But uh, the box itself is still really pretty in foil. And I like that. I really like the box. Um, I'll probably keep the box. And I like the ends of it here. This is probably like my favorite uh, art here. I'd love to have like a play mat of that. It's really pretty. Okay. Now let's get into it. We have our non-foil lamp pack. And we have our Piper of the Swarm promo that comes in your regular fat pack. I really wish this promo was in this pack because I personally like to keep my lamp pack sealed. And having it in the foil lamp pack really bugs me because I don't want the promo. I, I think they missed a mark. They should have made this a different promo or a full art or something. But, you know, we get what we get. Um, but I really wish it was over here instead of over here called foils. But I guess they don't want you keeping this stuff sealed. They want you to crack it. Uh, I will not be cracking the lamp pack. Clearly, this is the only thing in it that people haven't seen. So if you've seen the lands and the set, it's the exact same thing except for foil. Okay, so... Also, in this pack, we have trash that tells you how to play. You have this dice. This is uh, one of my things that I'm actually particularly excited about is uh, the D20. They changed it where it kind of looks like the cons of Tark here. Uh, dice where it's see-through. There's a nice little purple uh, and pink uh, thing that's really pretty in there. You can kind of see through kind of like there. That's the word I was for. Uh, I think this is really pretty. And it'll be a nice addition to uh, my little collection of dice. Uh, then you get your 10 packs of Throne of Eldraine booster packs. They're just your regular packs. Hopefully, they threw some extra goodies in there because it's the holidays and put some extra value. And then we have our Throne of Eldraine 15 card collector booster pack. This is the one that you really, really want to open. So we're going to wait and do that dead last on TikTok. Um, so if you follow me on there, follow me and we'll watch that. But for now, we're going to crack open these Throne of Eldraine and see what we get. Pack number one. Um, some of the things I'm looking for is I'm looking for all the glitters in foil. I would love all the glitters in foil. Um, okay, so we got our first uh, Altered Tart. And our rare is Fate of Wishes. Uh, not a very expensive card. It's a good card. 
will take it. I still really like the altered arts where they do the different frames. Um, and I assume that they will continue to do that in the next sets. And I hope they change it up. Like, I hope that they give us different kind of frames, you know, not the same thing. Um, even though this one is very suiting for what it is. That's a really good land. And our rare is Return Wild Speaker with a Foil Youthful Knight. I really like the tokens. Um, I hope, I'm sure they're going to keep with the new thing of tokens. The, the nice borderless. I like it a lot. There's one of our seven dwarves. I'm not going to go through all the comments, the comments at this point. Uh, I think we all know. Uh, Fiend Troll Kink. Nice food token. Actually, I like that card. I think it's pretty good. Now, there are a couple dollar uh, uncommons. We have a Beanstalk Giant. Ooh, and our promo, or our ultra, is Love Struck Beast. That's a good one. If you like Beauty and the Beast, that's a really good card for you. The fight green is the priority of these packs. Let's see if we can change that. Um, still wouldn't mind to see an Oko. Uh, even though it's banned standard. Um, I'd love to see Questing Beast. Um, I wouldn't mind having a couple more of those. A claimed contender. What else? That's just a really good set. Foils of anything that's in my standard deck would be nice. I like to bling it out. We have a Bone Crusher Giant with a foil planes. Bone Crusher Giant's actually pretty good. Like that's seeing that's gonna see play. Honestly, it'd probably be okay if the rest of these packs were all Bone Crusher Giants. Because, uh, I mean, that's a solid card. Now, I notice I do the packs differently. I always go to the left. I like seeing the converted mana cost first. Um, where went else? That's a good turn. We have Yara, first of Blothane. Coming down to the last few packs, let's hope that. Uh, these last few are very promising. Uh, Spectre Shriek is really good. And we got a Sorcerer Spyglass. Uh, not a money card, but it is a really good sideboard card. Uh, we Another seven dwarves. And our rare is the Great Hand. So that's actually a really good card. Good mythic, good pull on that one. Um, definitely gonna see some commander play. It's already seen standard play. Uh, not a bad pull. That's welcome. That's worth a. Uh, that's worth a little bit. It'd be nice if it was full oil and. Uh, Altered art. Well, we'll take what we can get. And our last one for the clay pack is a worthy knight. Not bad, not bad. It's not the great box so far, but you know they all change with our collector pack. So worthy knight, the great hand, JSR, big card, sorcerer spyglass, Ayara, Bone Crusher, a claim contender, a love struck beast, altered, a feasting troll king. Return of the Wild Speaker and a Fate of Wishes. Not bad. It's not what we want as far as pulls goes, but this could change everything. So, if, uh, if you want to see what we pull in this one, uh, follow me on TikTok, and that's where we'll be. We'll see you there, guys.